It's out. What's going on guys, John Holder here and the book is out. Finally out on Amazon, it's available in paperback as you see here. It's also available in hardcover and Kindle. So there are all kinds of cool bonuses that come with this book. So if you buy it, you will also get a copy of my Python Programming for Everyone course over at Codemy. Normally $49, you get that absolutely free. And that course covers a lot of the stuff in this book. So pick anything out of this book, there's gonna be a video on that in that course. So together, they're really great. You've got a desk reference, you can flip through and read if you want. If you wanna watch the same stuff in video form, maybe you learn better that way, you can head over to the Codemy website. You have a free membership that has this course automatically in it. Now you don't have all the other courses at Codemy, but you have the Python programming for everybody. That's everybody that buys this book automatically gets that. With that course, you'll also get a PDF copy of this book. So it's nice to have the book to flip through and even the Kindle, but sometimes I just like a PDF version of a book that I can search through very quickly. So that will come free with the book, with the membership. So check that out. Also, I've got a huge favor. If you buy this book and please buy the book, but if you buy the book, please head back over to Amazon and leave a review. The reviews are the most important thing in Amazon. If a lot of people leave reviews, Amazon will push that book up in their algorithm and it'll sell more. If nobody leaves a review, Amazon just figures the book is no good and it doesn't do anything internally to promote it. So if you leave a review for this book, I will appreciate it more than anything. And in about a week or so, I'm gonna go back over to the sales page and I'm gonna make a video of every single person that left a review. I'm gonna read the review in the video. I'm gonna give you a huge shout out. We're gonna post that on my YouTube channel. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, so that's my way of thanking you for doing that. And I would really appreciate it if you did that. that it's the most important thing when it comes to books on Amazon, the reviews, right? I'm not gonna tell you to leave a good review, I want you to leave an honest review, but uh, I hope you enjoy the book and you know your review reflects that. So who is this book for? This book is called Intro to Python Programming Beginner's Guide Series. If you don't know Python at all, this is a fantastic book for you. If you kinda know Python, but you're still kinda looking stuff up from time to time, this is a great book for you. If you used to know Python, but you need a quick refresher, this is perfect. In a minute, I'm gonna switch over to screen view and and we're gonna look at exactly what's in this book. So you'll see exactly what you're getting. But very quickly, I'll just say this is a beginner all the way up through intermediate, right up to advanced. We don't get into a very advanced topics. There's no classes or object-oriented stuff, but we do talk about functions and loops and all the things, and I'll show you in just a minute exactly what's in here. So head over to the website. This should be available in all of the Amazon sites in every country. So if your particular country's Amazon website doesn't have it, it should. So let me know. We're distributing it to every country that Amazon has a website for. So uh, you should be able to get it in your own local currency, so that's cool. So one other thing I'll note, the paperback you can get immediately, the Kindle you can get immediately. The hardcover takes two or three weeks to ship. I don't know why, that's just an Amazon thing. It takes them a few weeks to, for some reason, get the hardcovers out and I haven't actually even seen the hardcover yet. I've got one on order and it should be here in a few days, but I've just seen the paperback, uh, which is, is very nice. It's 160 odd pages, 159, 160, something like that. So not a huge book, but it really gets in. You can see, you know, it's a decent size, but it really gets in immediately. There's no nonsense. We go right into learning stuff and it's just bang, 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 one thing after another all of the basics, all of the intermediate stuff you're gonna need right up to advanced. Maybe in the future I'll create an advanced book, but this book is aimed at the absolute beginner or people just getting started with Python. All right, so let's switch over to screen view and let's look and see exactly what is in this book. Okay, so let's head over to Amazon and I'm just gonna type in Elder Python and it should pop right up. I'm gonna put a link below this video and in the email so you can just click that as well or just go to Amazon and type in Elder Python. And you can see Intro to Python Programming Beginner's Guide Series. I'm gonna go ahead and click the paperback here. So you can see it comes in Kindle, hardcover, and paperback. The paperback is $27.95 US. Hardcover is $32.98 US. Again, it takes two or three weeks for that to come. If we click on the hardcover, you can see it says delivery April 26. Or get it faster April 20th. That's like a month from now. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe they'll get quicker as they produce more of them but I would just recommend the paperback version. Kindle, for me, programming books are harder to deal with on Kindle just because I wanna look up something quick. So I wanna open my paperback and just you know flip to whatever, open the, the table of contents, go, oh yeah, for loops, page 42 or whatever, boom, there it is. All right, so I like a paperback for that. See, there's the back. <laughs> Got my picture and everything. <laughs> so, but anyway, you can see, nice cover here, front back. 
So what exactly is this book about? We can come down here and it says exactly right here. So we start out setting up a Python development environment. And then I show you how to create Python files, how to print stuff to the screen, dealing with errors and comments, you know, very basic stuff. And then we move into the actual programming language. So we're going to start out learning very basic math operators, very important for programming. We're going to learn about integers versus strings, integers versus floats, inline math, comparison operators, very important. We're going to look at variables, math with variables. We're going to look at changing strings to integers, adding strings, multiplying strings, which is kind of weird because strings are text. but that's fun. And then we're going to look into assignment operators, getting user input, and also getting numbers as user input, which is a little bit different. So you can see very basic stuff to start out. Then we move into logic. So we're going to look at basic if else statements and if else if statements. We're going to look at multiple conditionals and an or, why that's important. Then we look at string manipulation. So lower, upper, capitalized, title, swap case, lin, and r strip. Very important, very cool stuff. And then we're going to build a little choose your own adventure game using logic. Just a very basic game, but it's a lot of fun and it allows us to take all this stuff we just learned and make a little something with it. So then we move into more intermediate stuff. We're going to go into lists, how to create a list. Lists start with zero. Uh, putting numbers and variables into a list. Uh, different ways to create lists. Adding things to lists later on. Removing things from lists later on. And we're going to look at multi-dimensional lists. Very fun. After that, we're going to move into loops. What's a loop? We're going to look at while loops, for loops, infinite loops. And then we're going to build FizzBuzz, which is a little interview question game that's very popular. We'll get into that. And then we're going to move into more, I wouldn't call it advanced, I'd call it intermediate topics. So we're going to look at functions, creating functions, calling functions, passing things into a function. We're going to recreate our FizzBuzz program from earlier using functions. So that's fun. Uh, talk about true and false, booleans, things like that. And then we're going to talk about passing more than one argument into a function. That happens all the time. Uh, then we're going to talk about using default arguments in function. That's something you don't see all the time. Very interesting. After that, we're going to move into dictionaries. Very important. And then we're going to talk about dictionaries versus lists, uh, keys and values of a dictionary, calling a value from a dictionary. We'll also talk about calling keys from a dictionary, I believe. We'll talk about how to add and remove items from a dictionary, other odds and ends and things with dictionaries, different ways to use dictionaries, and then when to use a dictionary versus a list. And then finally, we'll talk about generating and using random numbers. Then at the end of this book, it's actually not listed here, but down here you can see we build a nice little math flashcard game using all the stuff that we learned throughout the book. And it's a pretty simple game, but it's going to allow you to use all the different things and see an actual real world example of how to do things. And I think it's very useful. So very basic to intermediate stuff, nothing groundbreaking here. But if you want to learn Python, if you're new to Python, this is essential information you have to have. And it's laid out, I think, in a very straightforward, easy to understand way. Again, I love having a book. I have books myself that I still reference every once in a while. And it's just handy to be able to open this thing up, look at the table of contents, see, oh, okay, I want, you know, this, flip to that page, boom, there it is. And you've just got it. You know, it's harder to do that with video. You have to find the video. You have to watch 10 minutes of the video to find the thing you want. Oh, that wasn't the right video. We got to go find another one. I think it's just very useful to have a book. You know, it's just easier to look up stuff, especially when you're learning at the beginning. It's always nice to have something to refer back to when you get stuck along the way. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this thing. Again, right now we are the 1560th book in Python programming. I would love to be number one. <laughs> we'll see. That's totally up to you guys. So uh, do me a huge favor. Buy this thing. Leave a review. Come down here after you've after you bought the thing. Come down here. There's no customer reviews yet. So you can leave a review. Like I said, next week, I will come through here and make another video just like this where I come through here and I read all the reviews on video. It'll be on my YouTube page. Thank each of you personally. I think that's going to be fun. And uh, I'm looking forward to that a lot. And hopefully you guys are too. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is available. This is the Amazon.com website. But whatever country you're in, if there's an Amazon portal that points to your country, it should be available there. Like I said, it's available everywhere. We went worldwide with this thing. and. Uh, that should be cool. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And thanks a lot, guys.